Hey cake nieces, it's Marisha. I have a mini fridge here. I wonder if I have anything in it. Mm -hmm. I literally grew up wanting in my bedroom, a fridge, some type of little skillet. And I said, if I could just get a little portable toilet. And then my mom was like, so basically you want your own apartment. And I was like, I guess you're right. I guess you're right. I just want my own place. Wow. Hopefully you guys watched the previous video of how I made the Encanto topper. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I made the actual Encanto themed cake. Because we don't talk about Bruno. No, no, no. Even though we need to because Bruno was actually a great guy. Bruno is literally like the epitome of every misunderstood person. It's a very simple cake. It is straight up a buttercream swirl cake pretty much. All you have to have are the proper piping tips and a little bit of swirl action. So if you have not done so yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, press on the notification bell, and let's get started. Okay, cake nieces, we are in the little baby kitchen today because it was storming outside. There is no sunlight and I've been baking all day so the sun is going down anyway. So let's get started. I have three layers of yellow cake here and I have my dulce de leche which honestly is very disappointing. I cooked it for six hours on the stove but I have to remember cook dulce de leche for no less than eight hours because it's just too runny. That flavor is still there but it's just not to my liking. Okay. But we're going to work with it. So I piped the buttercream border so that my dulce de leche does not run out. And then I'm going to add the second layer of cake. And each layer has been doused heavily with some simple syrup. And I like to do that while the cake is in the pan so that it just soaks up all of the simple syrup. I'm going to crumb coat as I go along in a very nice awkward, you know, everything I do is somewhat awkward anyway, so what's new? Just a little close-up of the can in case you were wondering. <laughs> I'm not used to filming in my kitchen, so you know. You know, these apartment kitchens, they don't make it easy, but we make it work. So I actually put a little bit of dulce de leche on the outside of the cake before adding the frosting, which is very odd of me to do because obviously the frosting just was slipping and sliding off. I wanted to actually make a dulce de leche frosting, but I didn't think about doing that until I was at this step right here. So next time I think that's what I'll do. I'm crumb coating my cake and then I'm going to stick it in the refrigerator. After crumb cutting my cake and letting it sit in the refrigerator for a couple of hours, I'm going to frost it. And I only let it sit for a couple of hours because once again, that dulce de leche was pretty soft and I needed to make sure that it was hardened enough so that I could frost the cake without any type of chaos. Now oftentimes I take out the step where I'm just adding the plain coat of buttercream but I know that a lot of you all want to see the full process so this is for you if you just want to see everything from start to finish. Thankfully we are just about done here so we can get out of this yellow kitchen. I made sure to refrigerate my cake once again for a couple of hours and now I have all of the buttercream colors that I'm going to be using. A hot pink, a really nice purple, a coral orange, green, white, and a gorgeous blue. I put the frostings in plastic wrap and rolled them into a log so that I can put each one into my piping bag without making a mess. So I'm gonna start off with this purple. I believe this is the one M tip actually, just to make large rosettes. And this is how I'm going to start off the cake. From here, I'm just going to fill it on up. Now we're going to move on to our hot pink buttercream. And this piping tip I don't use too often, it's still fairly new to me. I did not expect for it to look like that. I don't know why, I'm not crazy about it. It looks a little clunky, but it's going to work for this cake. Same situation as with the purple frosting. Once we pipe our swirls, we're going to fill up some of that empty space with a few stars. And I'm also shaping the way that I want all of my rosettes to flow. We're going to pipe a few ruffle flowers. They're very, very easy to do. I'm using this ruffle piping tip. I'm using my orange or coral colored buttercream. And I'm going to pipe mounds of ruffles in the shape of a flower, which is very easy to do. You just kind of form your ruffles to look like a small bundle. 
or a small circle and it comes together to look somewhat like a flower I actually thought that I was going to have to pipe this flower onto a rose nail and I totally didn't this is one of the easiest flowers that you could make and when it's in the midst of all of these other ruffles and swirls it really does look gorgeous now this cake is going to have some gold in there of course because Encanto is loaded with gold so I have some of my Roken brand luster dust and I mix that with a little bit of vodka and a paintbrush that I only use for cakes and I'm going to make some strokes of gold onto the cake and that's going to fill in the other half of the cake. We finally get to use my favorite color. I mean, obviously, look at my nails, it's crazy. <laughs> I'm just gonna buy mounds of blue onto the cake. And you can see how I start off very small in the center, make it very, very, very wide, and then I have a tail end kind of curving around the cake. I'm going to pipe some leaves onto the cake and honestly I always get excited to pipe leaves because it really does bring the cake together when you have a floral or rosette cake such as this one something about the leaves just makes everything come together and makes it make sense the last one that we are going to do is the white buttercream frosting with a closed star tip this is going to pretty much break up all of those strong colors we're also going to use this to fill in any little gaps that we have and overall it really does make the cake easier on the eyes if you ask me hopefully you have a fabulous Encanto topper to add to this cake I love this one if you would like to know how I made it just check the previous video I did this one by hand that is the completed Encanto Rosette Cake. I think it's gorgeous. And this is so much fun and easy for an Encanto themed birthday party. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Couture and an Encanto Rosette Cake. Bye guys. Once again, I made this cake topper by hand. I show you guys how to make this topper in the previous video. I would have put all of this together, but it would have been one long 20 minute video. And I don't like to really go over like 12, 13 minutes. The cake needs to comment of the day is going to go to Lady Snoozin. On my amazing fish and chips cake, which I feel like is so underrated. That cake video made some of the best cake I've ever had. Is this better hot or cold? Is the batter still crispy when it cools? In this video, I cut up vanilla cake, batter it, and I deep fry it. It's like a fried codfish. And then I make a strawberry compote and a buttercream to dip the fish into the cocktail sauce. We were trying to eat one piece and not only did I end up making more in a matter of five minutes, it became one of the best ways that I could ever think to have cake. It is best served hot straight out of the fryer. If you want a cake that's a finger food, this is seriously the thing for you. If you would like to be featured in the next video, all you have to do is comment down below and you guys can also send in your pictures. If I've inspired you to make anything or create anything, send your pictures to me. Get it to me so that I can see. Remember to Oh, I must have got a package, some cake toppers for my next cake. Remember to go to my website, mauritiuscouturecakes.com. You can find recipes, all of my pictures, some videos, and just some random stuff. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, Cake Nista. And Cake Nista, I'm sorry. Mmm, where'd that tea go? I put it back in the fridge. I know that's right. That's what you got to do.